Hey, oh, can you open the place? I'll give you the money. Yeah, who's gonna work at the place? Oh, we don't need money, we need people that work it. Do you guys and have then, a training training program? That everything, you... we have a whole training. It's hands-on, it's visual, it's verbal. How do you we encourage, how do you do store? quality control? Well, they're supposed to, every department, because it's divided. Yeah. The kitchen is supposed to go every morning with a spoon, the person in charge, the managers and taste everything. But a lot of things that are made centralized. So one person, one area. That's pretty amazing. Wait, central, like one, not one central bakery though, no, no, right? No. So central we have ba a kitchen. Yeah. And we do a lot of stuff there. Yeah. That's made for the, the same way for all the stores. Instead of having 300 people doing their own version, we have a few people, chefs, working just on food, experimenting. Are the bakeries going, how many hours a day is each bakery going? 24. Really is, huh? How many employees are generally at each location? At each, yeah. each location? Yes. And That's HR, how many people over? Our corporate office has less than 50 people. So. All, of, all of you guys? That's yeah, accounting like and marketing. It's a lot though for, I mean, like six lo six locations, right? Yeah. That's pretty intense. Well, that's the problem, you need labor. So when you were asking me if we ever had any issues, never. But COVID yeah. was the first time that we had to really jump and do something different. We went from dining when they closest yeah. to dine out. Yeah. Lines around the stores, people picking up. We did it in three days. We changed the whole computer system from dining to dine out. And then with the police calling us, you're blocking the traffic, the lines. Mm -hmm. Because it became so successful that we were, there were lines on the street. Wow. There's wow. a machine, all they did was take out, take out. And now people are saying, why don't you go back to that? I mean, it's you still do you take out, but I mean, yeah. just a different, different process. Okay, so what does the future hold? And, and We're gonna keep growing, more stores. And, and is and is there family under you at this point? I'm not aware. There's already like three or four other kids working really? in different capacities. That's and I'm hoping my daughter's at one point. I have a daughter that does marketing and writing. Yeah. She's writing the campaigns and stuff. Yeah. And I have another one that works in uh, Amazon. And she That's already has 6,000 people on her. Wow. She's running the Burma, the fulfillment center for Riverside. It's a big deal. And uh, San Bernardino. Now, would you, Those are two doors of hers. Would you dream that they eventually come into the business? or If we can afford her. <laughs> That's going to be the issue. Wow. Because, I mean, she wants to be... She wants to be the CEO of a 500 company. I think once she accomplishes that, then she might want to come on board. She just wants to do it for herself. That's, I see where the uh, uh, motivation and the uh, yeah. stick to itiveness comes from. That's pretty That's, impressive. She's, she's a go-getter too. Yeah, I mean, you have she, to. She's not afraid of anything. That's amazing. Fearlessness, yeah. man. That's crazy. Like my mom was. My mom 